Oh, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn the scars further into integration by parts. And now look at example 5 of the example series. But uh, before I get to this example, which is integral of, uh, yeah, from 0 to 1 of arc tan or inverse tan of x. Uh, I'll first go over uh, just this introduction here. Basically, if we combine the formula for integration by parts, which I showed in my earlier video, with the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can evaluate definite integrals by parts. The uh, old formula for integration by parts is just indefinite or without these uh, definite points A and B. So, so when we combine the second part of the theorem, and that, that, that one just states that uh, it, yeah, it just has these from A to B uh, formulas. Yeah, then we basically get the same thing right here as the formula for integration by parts, but now it's for definite integral, so from A to B. So now we're going to evaluate uh, this one right here from 0 to 1. So it's pr pretty much the exact same thing as what I was doing in my earlier example videos, but now we're evaluating each one of these parts from A to to be. So now when we look at this function here, inverse tan of x, the idea of uh, integration by parts is to find a function and when you take a derivative it becomes simpler. So when we look at this one, well we know the formula for the inverse tan of x, like I showed in my earlier video, this just equals 2, 1 over 1 plus x squared. So now this is, well, simpler than what we started off with, which is uh, just this inverse tan of x. Yeah, and this one, uh, if, if we were dealing with this, we could solve the integral of this, and, and we would use probably substitution rule, which I'll get to that in a bit. So basically, now, because it gets simpler, we can try using integration by parts. Now I'm just going to write the formula again, so u dv, we're writing the simplified version, u dv, equals to uv minus uh, v du. I, I haven't put in the from a to b, but from 0 to 1 in this case because we're dealing with just a different variable, but I'll pl plug that in at the end. So in this case u will let it equal to tan, inverse tan of x. So write this. So now du, that just equals to um, yeah, dx 1 plus x squared. So we always have to have a dx when we're dealing with differentials like this. So now the dv, this equals 2. Well, there's no other choice, so we just pick dx. And now the integral of this, that's v, is going to equal to just x. So now we can plug the, the terms inside. So we get from 0 to 1 of u, which is uh, inverse tan of x, dv, which is dx equals to u, I mean v in u there, so we have, a, we have an x right here, tan, inverse tan of x from 0 to 1, minus now integral from 0 to 1 of uh, v, which is this, and then this is, now we have a du right there, which is dx over 1 plus x squared. I'll write that down like this, 1 plus x squared, now we have a dx there. So now we have a simpler integral, which is right here, and we could actually use substitution rule for this one. So for this one, if we let t equals 2, 1 plus x squared, when we do this, just because this becomes simpler, dt would equal 2, uh, we can take the derivative of this, that's going to be 2x, dx. So now we could write this in terms of t right here. So we know that this x dx, or right here, x dx, rearrange this equals to dt over 2. So we've got rid of the top there, and now we've also got rid of the bottom. We're just left with t. And now we're changing uh, the variable so that this 0 to 1, it becomes, well, at x equals to 0, we have t is equal to, just plug that in, equals to 1, and at x equals to two, to 1, t equals 1 plus 1 squared, which is equal to 2. So now we can solve this integral right there, which is integral from 0 to 1 of x over 1 plus x squared dx. Now this equals 2 when we change the variable from 1 to 2 of, now we just plug in this, x dx is our 
dt, I'll put this one over two out there. So now we have a dt, and now we have this one over t. So the x is gone, one over t. So now we have this, which is, which we know the integral of this, one over two. This is the integral of, uh, the integral of this is actually just ln of t. So now we're evaluating it from one to two. So that's just natural log of t. And now we could evaluate this. This becomes one over two, plug these in. So ln of two minus ln of one. Now ln of one, this just equals to zero. And you can see my video on natural logarithms and uh, exponents to understand why, but you could, you could quickly see if you had e to the uh, zero, this equals to one and ln is just an inverse, so this would just be ln of one equals to zero. So that's all it is, is we're solving for this variable inside, and that's what ln is. So this one becomes now just what ln two over two. And now we could plug this all the way back into here. So we get our final integral, let's close this off. Integral of from zero to one of invert 10 of x, equals two, so now this is gonna be our x 10, yeah, x 10 of x, inverse 10 of x, minus, now this ln two over two. Yeah, and this is from zero to one. So now we plug these inside. So when we plug in the one there, this will just be one times it by 10 inverse of one, minus, well, zero, because if just plug in the zero there, it just becomes zero. So minus ln two over two. So now a 10, inverse 10 of one, what this is saying is, yeah, is basically when you look at the regular tan function, 10 of x equals to one. So in this, this is right here, x is equal to inverse 10 of one. So basically what is the x or the angle when the value is, when the ratio is one. And we know that uh, if we look at a triangle, if we had one, one, and then this part's gonna be square root two, this is 45 degrees, and this or, yeah, 45 degrees equals two in radians, pi over four. So we have this part, and 10 is basically equal to yeah, 10 of x equals to opposite over adjacent, and that equals to just one over one in this case. So this is our x. So that equals to x, and that equals to inverse 10 of the ratio one right here. So we could plug that inside. So we get basically this equals to, or I'll just, yeah, I'll just circle this to make it out of the way. So now we get basically the integral from zero to one of inverse 10 of x equals two pi over four in radians minus ln two over two. Yeah, and this is basically our final answer. And uh, to get an idea of what this means is if you were to graph uh, inverse 10 of x, so y, the, the function looks something like, like this and basically from zero to one, it would be somewhere here. So what we just solved is the area under the curve from here, and this is inverse 10 of x. And this is basically what we solved, which is the area under the curve. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this extensive example on how to use uh, indefinite, uh, basically solve indefinite integrals by uh, parts. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.